Hi everybody! Welcome to another edition of Boulder Public Library's Baby Time. I am Shannon, here with my demonstration baby, and we are here to show you how to do the action rhymes and movements with your own baby. Baby Time is geared towards babies ages 0 to 23 months with their parents, guardians, caregivers, older brothers, sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, kindly neighbor, basically anybody you trust to do action rhymes with your own baby. If your baby is 24 months and up, so two years old or more, totally fine. They can watch this video and do the action rhymes themselves. And as you know, every baby time we focus on one of the five early literacy skills, read, write, talk, sing, play. Today we are going to focus on read and how you can incorporate reading as an early literacy acquisition skill in your life every day. Because who knew reading was the basis of early literacy acquisition, right? Figure that one out. And as you know, every baby time, we have to do our opening song, which is wake up feet. We always, always, always wake up our feet first because repetition is good for your babies and their early, early literacy acquisition. So the song goes, wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Good job. So since we are going to be focusing on reading today, what will we need to read? Our eyes. Good job. Here's my baby's eyes. Here's my eyes. So we wake up eyes, wake up eyes, wake up eyes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up eyes, wake up eyes, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Good job! Let's stick to our upper body today. Let's wake up our noses. Here's my baby's nose. Here's my nose. Wake up nose. Wake up nose. Wake up nose and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up nose. Wake up nose. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Good job! Let's wake up our heads today. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up head and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Good job. Way to wake up our body parts. We're all ready to go with baby time. First early literacy skip tip about babies is to make reading a part of your daily routine. Um, just babies being around books, having you read to them, makes them want to do it more. Um, they want to do what you want to do, right? Unless it's my child who wants to do the exact opposite of what I do, but kids, who knows, right? Okay, so the first rhyme we're going to do is called Baby's Game. And remember, we do every action rhyme twice, again, for early literacy. And also so we can show you two different ways to do it. If you have a bigger kid, your child could face forward or face you. If you have a little or a baby and they don't have the neck support or back support, you could have them lay down on their back, on a pillow, on your lap, and you could do the action rhymes that way. So remember, this first one is called Baby's Game, and we're going to start with the baby facing this way. And we touch your ears, pat your nose, tick. Go little baby's toes. Hide your eyes. Where are you? <gasps> baby's playing peekaboo. <gasps> Good job. So we're going to do it this way. I'm going to face my baby towards you, but again, you can face your baby towards you also. So we go. Touch your ears. Pat your nose. <gasps> Tick. Go little baby toes. Hide your eyes. Where are you? <gasps> Babies playing peekaboo. Good job. So another tip. If your baby is not enjoying the book or gets bored listening to you read the book, stop reading, put the book down, 
pick it back up another time. Remember, you want your babies to stay interested in reading and you can't force them to do something they don't want to do without them disliking it. Again, a tip from my daughter. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is crisscross applesauce. We're gonna start with our baby on their back. We're gonna use their tummy and we go crisscross applesauce. Spiders crawling up your back. A cool breeze. A tight squeeze. And now you've got the shivers. Tickle, 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 tickle. And your baby will let you know if they're uncomfortable or okay with you tickling them. Listen to your baby's cues and only do what they would like you to do. Okay, we're gonna face our baby away. He's, my baby's going to face the camera again. And we say criss, cross, apple sauce. Spiders crawling up your back. A cool breeze. A tight squeeze. And now you've got the shivers. Yay, good job. Way to go, friends. Way to go. Another tip is babies like board books. Um, they're easy for babies to grab easy for babies to chew on, they can play with them, and they most of them are pretty simple, and you can read them over and over, and babies super enjoy that. So let them play with the baby board books, let them put them in their mouths, let them enjoy, have them tactile, have their tactile experience. Which brings us to the book we're going to read, which is called, But Not the Hippopotamus. This is by Sandra Boynton and it's read with the permission of little Simon, uh, imprint of Simon and Schuster. So it says, a hog and a frog do a dance in the bog, but not the hippopotamus. Hmm. There's a lot of rhyming in this book. A cat and two rats are trying on hats but not the hippopotamus. A moose and a goose together have juice, but not the hippopotamus. There he is up there by himself. Look at the juice is purple. What kind of juice do you think that is? Grape juice, good job. A bear and a hare have been to the fair. They have balloons they're playing with, but not the hippopotamus. Why is the hippopotamus not going? Now the hog and the frog hurry out for a jog with the cat and the rats in their new running hats. Look at them run. Well, the moose and the bear and the goose and the hare are doing their best to keep up with the rest. But not the hippopotamus. Hmm. Then the animal pack comes scurrying back saying, hey, come join the lot of us. And she just doesn't know. Should she stay? Should she go? What is she gonna do? <gasps> Look at her, she's gonna go play. <gasps> but not the armadillo. Now the armadillo doesn't want to go. Do you think the armadillo should go play? Same here. Okay, thank you, Sandra Boyton and Simon and Schuster for But Not the Hippopotamus. You don't only have to read fiction books to your little baby. Nonfiction books are a great way to get babies to associate pictures with the words, um, so pictures with the meaning of the words. So read nonfiction books, there's great ones about dinosaurs, sharks, shapes, things like that will help your baby learn or literacy. Cool, cool, cool. So the next rhyme we're going to do is called Father, Mother, and Uncle John. So this one, you bounce your baby up and down. Again, we're gonna start with my baby on their back, and we say, Father, Mother, Uncle John, row to the dock, 
after one by one. Father fell off. Oh no. Mother fell off. Oh no. But Uncle John rode on and on. Good job. Let's turn our baby around and let's do it again. So we say, Father, Mother, and Uncle John rode to the doctor one by one. Father fell off. Mother fell off. But Uncle John rode on and on. Good job. Yay. That was really good. And next rhyme we're going to do is called Where is Baby? And this is to the tune of Frere Jaca. And you will need some kind of scarf. This one is a dish towel. You could use a sock, a shirt, a scarf, a Kleenex, a handkerchief, a mask, whatever you have lying around. You could use that for this rhyme. Again, it's called Where's Baby? And this is the tune of Frere Jaca. I'm going to turn my baby on their back. And we say, put the scarf for my baby. <gasps> Where is baby? Where is baby? <gasps> there you are. There you are. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you. Peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo. Good job. We're going to do it one more time with our baby facing forward. Your baby can face you. And we say... Face the camera, baby, so they can see your surprised face. Here you go. Where is baby? Where is baby? <gasps> there you are. There you are. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you. Peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo. <gasps> Good job. Good singing. That was really fun. Babies love to play peek-a-boo and be scared, but again, listen to your baby signals and only do what they are comfortable with. That brings us to the end of our baby time. As usual, it's been so fun to do rhymes and songs and books with my baby and hopefully with your baby too. Our goodbye song every session is Heart and Soul. And first we bounce, we rock, and we hug. I'm going to do with my baby in my arms this time just to mix it up a bit and do something different so you guys can see what it's like for your little babies. And we go, heart and soul, I want to bounce with you, heart and soul, nobody else will do me because I want to bounce with you, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, heart and soul. I want to rock with you, heart and soul. Nobody else will do me, cause I want to rock with you. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Heart and soul. I want to hug with you, heart and soul. Nobody else will do me, cause I want to hug with you. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ba -bum. Good job, friends. Way to go. So again, thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you soon at the library. Have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good month. Have a good time until we see you again in person. See you later. Bye.